Hello everyone and welcome back to the third lesson in our flipped classroom series for IGCSE Environmental Management. Today we're going to continue with chapter one which is rocks, minerals and their exploitation and we're going to be looking at lesson number three which is all about how the extraction of rocks and minerals from the earth's surface can impact the local area. Specifically, we're going to be thinking about three kinds of impacts today. Firstly, the impact to the environment. Secondly, the economic impact. And thirdly, the, the impact to people or society. Let's start by thinking about the environmental impacts of mining. Any kind of mining operation will lead to the loss of habitats for plants and animals. Remember that a habitat is just a place where a plant or animal lives. Surface mining requires the removal of a large amount of vegetation and topsoil in order to reach the rock or mineral below. This means that plants will no longer have a place to grow and animals will also be impacted because they will lose their shelter and potentially their source of food too. Subsurface mining, for example, deep mining, also requires the removal of some vegetation and topsoil. However, this is considerably, considerably less than surface mining. If you're doing subsurface mining, you still need to be able to store the material that you have removed from underneath the earth. And this too can damage habitats. This is also a problem for surface mining because the removed overburden will also have to be stored somewhere above surface. The loss of habitats in an area due to mining will undoubtedly lead to a decrease in biodiversity. This will mean there will be a less variety of plants and animal species in that area. What mining companies will do to try and mitigate against this impact is restore the land once mining is complete. A common method used here is to fill the holes in the earth's surface with the overburden which has been previously removed. However, this will take many years for the area to recover and some plants and animal species might be completely lost from the area due to mining. Another environmental impact of mining is pollution. Pollution can take many different forms. For example, mining can create water pollution, air pollution, noise pollution, visual pollution, and so on. One major impact of mining is water pollution. The pollution of different waterways around a mine can have a major impact on the environment, and it is also very long lasting, continuing to impact the environment even years after a mine has closed. One way that water can be polluted by mining is through the contamination of water by different toxins that we find from the minerals which are being mined. This can contaminate water supplies and make them unsafe for human consumption and waterways can no longer be used as drinking water. Chemical reactions can also take place within the water, making the water and the area toxic for different forms of aquatic life again leading to a decrease in biodiversity and also creating a potential threat as humans can also consume this aquatic life, damaging our health and the wider ecosystem. Other forms of pollution, such as noise pollution, also impact the local area. If you're clearing away material for mining through the use of explosives or um, heavy goods vehicles traveling through the area, um, taking away the material that is being extracted. This creates a lot of noise and can be a nuisance for the local people and the surrounding area and can also impact animal species as well. There is also air pollution to consider. The dust which is released from mines due to the different activities taking place can reduce the plant growth in a nearby area. This is because if enough dust um, collects on um, different kinds of vegetation or leaves, then this can stop photosynthesis from taking place because light will no longer be able to penetrate the leaf surface. 
And mining also has or creates visual pollution. This just means that an area isn't particularly nice to look at and can discourage people from living in the nearby area. Mining can also provide many positive economic impacts for a country. Extracting valuable mineral provides employment for local people and also allows national government to increase the amount of taxes that they collect. This positive economic effect can also be boosted if minerals are processed in the same country in which they are extracted. Further jobs are also supplied in the transport industry, processing industry, and also import and exporting industries. Taxes paid by mining companies and individual workers can provide a country with enough revenue to invest in infrastructure projects. This will benefit the whole population of a country and allow for better connectivity within that country. Funding will also be available to improve the services provided within a nation. For example, the building of schools and hospitals, which will improve the quality of life for local residents. There are also some negative social impacts of mining to consider. First of all, we can think about health. Mining is a very dangerous activity and sometimes accidents and disasters can happen and sadly miners can lose their lives in these accidents. We have already mentioned that dust is a major environmental impact of mining too and dust and the resulting air pollution can damage the health of local residents. Here is a very simple and basic spider diagram outlining all of the impacts that we have discussed. So let's take a look at some key vocabulary that we will find in this lesson. Mining is the extraction of rocks and minerals. And this extraction results in many different kinds of impacts. Firstly, we have environmental impacts. This can include the loss of habitats for animal and plant species. This will result in reduced biodiversity in an area. Another environmental impact is pollution. However, mining can have some positive impacts. For example, it can boost the economy of a nation. It can also create employment for local people. And it will increase tax revenues for a country. A nation can also become richer from mining by exporting either raw material or processed materials which have been made from the mined products. There are also social impacts to consider, for example, the health of local people and miners. This is usually a result of the air pollution caused by dust. We can also improve the infrastructure of a country due to the economic benefits of mining and the services too, such as health services and education services. And this can lead to an improvement in the quality of life for the people who live in that country. So that brings us to the end of our third lesson. And hopefully we know a little bit more now about the impact of rock and mineral extraction. Good, good study, day day up.